The Tomb of Ramses VI in Luxor, Egypt. Video by JJWR.com. In this video, I'm flying from Cairo to Luxor, where my touristic guide and a driver are waiting for me to show me the best of Luxor. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm waiting for the shuttle to go to the airport because we're going to the Luxor. Luxor is a city on the east bank of the Nile River in southern Egypt. It's on the site of ancient Thebes, the pharaoh capital at the height of their power during the 16th to the 11th centuries BC. Today's city surrounds two huge surviving ancient monuments, Graceful Luxor Temple and Karnak Temple, a mile north. The royal tombs of the Valley of the Kings and the Valley of the Queens are on the river's west bank and that's where I'm heading. The Valley of the Kings is an area in Egypt where for a period of nearly 500 years from the 18th dynasty to the 20th dynasty, rock-cut tombs were excavated for pharaohs and powerful nobles under the new kingdom of ancient Egypt. City first the father of ramses and also inside this room that was unfinished unfinished so that you will see all the steps to build to that look, the look how deep inside. is it you go stairs all the way down and now let's visit ramses VI tomb entering the burial chamber of ramses VI sarcophagus in the valley of the kings will reveal a dimly lit intricately painted chamber with walls adorned with scenes from the Book of the Dead depicting the pharaoh's journey through the afterlife. King Ramses VI was the fifth king of the 20th dynasty. He came to the throne after the death of his predecessor Ramses V, who had ruled Egypt for only one year. Ramses VI had ruled Egypt for six years with some of the broadest corridors, longest shafts, and greatest variety of decoration, the tomb of Ramses VI is one of the most spectacular tombs in the valley. Started by Ramses V and finished by Ramses VI, it's a feast for the eyes, much of its surface covered with intact hieroglyphs and paintings. The burial chamber has an unfinished pit in the floor and a magnificent figure of knot and scenes from the Book of Day and the Book of Night. The walls of Ramses VI tomb are adorned with intricate painted scenes depicting the pharaohs interacting with various Egyptian deities primarily focused on the Book of the Earth, which illustrates the Sun God's journey through the underworld, including battles against forces of darkness and the assistance of various gods, all meant to ensure his rebirth in the afterlife. These images often feature the god Acre, Osiris, and the solar boat navigating through the night sky. Key details about the wall paintings is the central theme, the Book of the Earth, with detailed representations of the underworld, including the solar boat, the god Acre, and the journey of the sun through the night. Prominent figures our Ramses VI himself is frequently depicted offering offerings to gods like Ra Harakhti and Osiris. Few symbolic imagery as the scenes includes depictions of the destruction of enemies, 
the sun's rays resurrecting figures and various deities associated with the afterlife. At the far end, a large granite sarcophagus, fragmented but still imposing, would be visible. Its surface, intricately carved with hieroglyphs and divine imagery, showcasing the king's royal status and the hope for his eternal life in the next world. The site would be a testament to the grandeur of ancient Egyptian funerary practices and the artistic skill of the tomb builders. Even though the sarcophagus itself is now partially destroyed and scattered across the chamber floor due to past looting attempts. The paintings are highly detailed with vibrant colors and intricate hieroglyphics showcasing the skilled artistry of ancient Egyptian tomb decoration. I hope you enjoyed my video don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the icons showing on your screen thank you for watching